Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss a lot upload. So uh, I'm actually in the, J the Jets playbook. This is the New York Jets playbook. I know I'm using the Eagles as my team, but uh, this is going to give me a better uh, opportunity to go ahead and make completions and not overthrow balls. Uh, so I have to spend so much time recording this video based on glitches uh, in practice mode. So, uh, play a formation we're going to take a look at is going to be the Pistols Double. This is actually something I'm breaking down from my patrons, uh, but I want to show you basically how I do uh, three, you know, five, pay, uh, five play, three page play mini schemes uh, for my patrons so they have something to work with. So, uh, let's take a look at this particular breakdown. It's, it's the Pistols Doubles formation and uh, basically what we're going to do is that it comes to standard form uh, standard uh, plays which are going to be the slants, four verticals, a halfback zone. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove that slant and we're going to put the middle hook in. Uh, what I like about middle hook is that i got a way to go and tack my opponent into the corner. I've got some flat routes and I've got a nice route uh, where I can hit my opponent over the middle if he actually concentrates on it. Halfback zone we're going to leave that as is. That's going to give me a nice run on the inside. But I also want to go ahead and try to complement my, uh, my my running scheme a little bit by using the Jets Torch Pass, or Touch Pass, Touch Pass. And we're going to go ahead and basically remove this four verticals because that's not a play I'm going to use a lot. So I've got the play action boot, middle hook, I've got the halfback zone, the Jets uh, jet Touch Pass is my base, base plays. And, you know, just for the sake of this, we're just going to go ahead and have a halfback slam as one of our base runs. And we're going to run this against basically man coverages and kind of go from there. All right, so anybody that actually does a lot of heavy man blissing, you can go ahead and jump into this, this uh, jet sweep. Uh, this is a touch pass uh, jet sweep, so you're going to get that running back that's going to come out and block for you. And that's going to give you an extra blocker where you can pick up some pretty good yards. So the faster the running back, the more the wear this little running back, he's going to open up uh, things for your, for your running game. Well, we're going to go ahead and attack our opponent with a nice little inside zone. And basically just going to run off the edge right there. So the 34 defense gobbled it up on the back end side. Let's go ahead and try this again see if we get the blocking uh, we do we're just going to go ahead and just take that blocking and pick up some cheap cheap and easy yards for you so uh let's go ahead and take a look at the back side we've got uh, basically the the, um, the the slant play and we're just going to go ahead and attack attack our opponent with that particular play hopefully go ahead and get that out so big front probably something you don't we want to do against your opponent uh, but this is a, you know, it's a good way to go and just have yourself uh, basically a, a three-headed rushing attack against your opponent. So let's go ahead and take a look at the pass he plays against uh, basically a lot of man blitzing. So what I like to do is on the back side with Jeffries, I don't like him on that little little hitch route. I like to put him on a whip route. And the reason I do that is because it gives me a high-low read and it also goes ahead and pulls a flat, uh, a cloud flat out of the area. Now, if I know my opponent's going to be doing a lot of heavy man blitzing, I'm going to block my running back to give myself a little bit more time. But the key to this bigger, this uh, this play against guys that use a lot of heavy man blitzing is going to be this corner route. This is something you can actually tur turn up for some pretty major yards. So we're going to go ahead and not block our running back um, and watch to see if we can get that to develop. We can. Uh, and right there, you can actually, if you turn that thing up, you get a nice light like, rack animation. You can go and get some pretty easy yards against your opponent. Um, on the back end side, we have basically Ertz's route, which is flat. That should get gobbled up. But you've also got this dig route on the back end side, too. So if you've got a guy that runs a lot of heavy man blitzes, you can go and jump into this play to go ahead and destroy him for that. So that's something you want to take into consideration. Now, what's the problem with this figure play? Obviously, you have a lot of focus off the left-hand side, so that's why you want to go ahead and complement your opponent um, off to the right-hand side with using the play-action boot. I like to run this thing pretty much stock as is. Sometimes I'll block my running back. Another thing you can do, too, is you can actually go ahead and take your tight end and put him on an out route. Now, obviously, if you've got um, a, a chem that you can actually have your, your, your tight end do whip routes or other special routes, you want to do that. But an out route is going to be more consistent. So if you get used to using an out route, is is one of the things that you're going to use against someone who does a lot of man blitzing that's going to help you dramatically. I, I like to go and streak up this outside receiver because I want to clear him out uh, for basically this play right here. He's going to get very good separation against most zone coverages, but you can actually get some good one-on-ones uh, against man coverages too. So it's really, you know, one of the things you could do is just do uh, a max protect um, and then block that running back um, individually. And you just look high-low. 
let's see right here I got sacked right there on that because it's trying to go to the next level a lot of times you're gonna have to go ahead and get rid of that ball quick so that's something you want to take in consideration so let's go ahead and see if Jackson actually gets separation he does and right there against that man blitz and you, you could have took that house uh, what about cover two now once again light box go ahead and take the inside run you got the the zone play so if the numbers add up, you can go ahead and take that run off to the right too. And you've also got that jet sweep. So let's just go ahead and see what type of animation. We got a flat defender off to the right. He should probably play that that run pretty uh, pretty difficult. But you can see that flat defender actually gets picked up by their running back and allows you to spring it outside wide. So against uh, the middle hook, against cover two, we're really going to be looking to Jeffrey's whip route, and he's going to give us a read. We're either going to go high or low. And we're going to go low if that if that wide receiver, if he carries up to the wide receiver. And if he stays flat down low, that's going to give you go ahead and, and give you that, that outside corner that you can turn up for some pretty big yards. And if it seems like it's pretty locked up to you, you've obviously got the check down with the running back. And then you've got the crosser on the back, side, back inside that you can go and hit. Now what about, uh, about cover two? Once again, we're going to do the quick out to give us a man read uh, with, with the tight end. Uh, we've got, we're going to streak up Aguilar. And what's going to happen is against cover two, this is going to go ahead and open up for a big play for you. So that slot receiver is going to be getting a lot of action with this particular scheme. Uh, against cover three, once again, um, if you're going to get a double A gap blips, just go ahead and hit him with, uh, hit him with the, the, the inside run. You've also got the zone play. Uh, you can actually go and hit your opponent off to the right a little bit. And even though we see a defender that's on the outside of the tight end, We've got that extra blocker with that running back that's going to help us seal seal the run for us. So a little bit better stick, you're going to be able to go and take that house. What about middle hook against cover three? Whip up your one defender. And really what's going to happen is you're going to have like a little levels concept off the sideline that most defenders can't get there. If you've got a guy that's running a lot of cover three or he's doing some off coverage, one of the things you can do is you can do a quick out. And what happens is you can see that the defender actually comes out to the quick out a little bit quicker so it's going to be a fast progression and easier read so what i've always liked about this type of a concept is that it gives me a fast read uh, to actually hit my opponent with a quick out and if i can rack that i can pick up a couple more yards but when i'm getting six or seven yards uh, a play in a running formation which would be probably like a, a second down first down type play uh, that's going to help me go ahead and get some pretty easy yards. So I always like attacking people with quick outs. It's just one, real annoying to stop. And of, of course, you've obviously got a high low. And this is another area of the field that you can attack your opponent with on the back end side. So that, that, that's, that's how effective it is. What about the play action boot? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take Ertz and put him on an out route. We're going to go ahead and streak up or fade up our... Uh, our wide receiver and then we're going to block up a running back and if a defender doesn't fall, fall in that area we're going to go drop down to that so that was a clawed flat but it was a fast read if, if that guy is open we're going to go ahead and take it unless we need the yardage once again watch the crossing route and that's going to be the soft zone, part of the zone now what's cool about this going to play against cover three is that that backside deep post by Jeffries will get open too for a big play opportunity. So we're just going to go ahead and watch it. And if you if you anticipate that, especially if your opponent starts floating over, this deep post will up, actually open up for you too. And it'll make it very difficult for them to pass all that stuff. So if he uses a lot of cover three against you, you can go ahead and pop them you know, with this route. Usually nine out of 10 times, these guys are going to float against this route. But look at the difference between where this guy's at and this guy's at. They're like good 30 yards away from each other. So you can go ahead and throw to the backside uh, wide receiver and actually pick up some pretty major yards on the backside too. All right, guy runs a lot of cover four. Obviously, you can go ahead and attack him with the inside zone. The halfback zone. And also the jet touch pass one of the best jet jet sweeps in the game and the reason why is that that running back will come out and help you block now it appears that cover four will actually go ahead and get defenders uh, on the back side they'll actually come across and play this a little bit better so if you are playing against someone that runs a lot of jet sweeps or at least these touch passes 
you'll see that you're going to get more guys uh, in run fits with the Seager play. So you probably want to consider using, if you got a guy that runs some of these jet passes, you want to probably want to jump into cover four coverage. Middle hook. We got off coverage, so we're going to go and do a quick out. And once again, it's going to be an e easy completion with the quick out. So if I take off coverage, just take it. We've also got this levels concept, which really doesn't get covered against any kind of palm, uh, palm situation. So you can actually get some pretty good yards at that. So quick out. And then we got levels. And look at this. There's just nobody covering this. He's going to have to use it that way. So against cover, uh, against, uh, cover four, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do a, a hard flat. And we're going to leave the animation as is. Uh, but what's cool about this good play is this, this, this deep comeback route is going to get separation against uh, your guy. So you can still go ahead and try to get the levels off to the side. I don't want to do the, uh, the, the, the pass block. I want to get that flat route out there because what happens is that he basically will pull down the defender to go ahead and play that and you'll be able to hit that deep comeback route. Um, the If there's matching principles, Jackson's route uh, will get picked up. Um, so you can see right here actually gets picked up on matching principles. So that's like a palms coverage. So that's the type of situation where you want to have that deep comeback route. He's going to get the type of separation you're looking for. Let's go ahead and take a, one quick experiment against um, a guy that runs a lot of cover four. We're going to streak up Jackson and see if this opens up uh, this route right here by Jeffrey. So it does get but I've got two guys out there, so I would really, against cover four, this is probably a formation I'd probably stay with more of a consistent play. I'd probably use the middle hooks uh, opposed to the, the jet pass. Maybe go ahead and drag this guy up, streak up Ertz, just to change things up a little bit. And this is probably going to go ahead and give you some separation where you can actually go ahead and get your opponent on the crossers that way. So just an idea to throw out there. But cover four, I probably wouldn't use this too much. I'd probably do a lot, a lot of inside runs. So once again, I'm going to subscribe and thank for your support, guys. If you do like these type of tips, go ahead and smash that like button. I'll be rolling out more offensive and defensive tips to go ahead and take your game to the next level. So once again, thank you for your support. And until next time.